Good morning, beautiful people. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys. Good morning. Whew. Happy Saturday. Um, yesterday. See my watch it too. It is. June the 11th. I feel like today is somebody's birthday. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, it is raining. And I'm going to head on over to that hostel. Uh, I need to charge some stuff and I don't see anything. And I might need some resupply too. <laughs> I had to figure I'd start out hungry. Been hungry ever since I've been here. Um, so making me some morning coffee. Um, it's raining and I waterproof my tent before I, um, I got back out here. So you guys, okay? I know you guys are wondering about the coffee situation. I never show you guys how to do crap out here. I guess I should. So. That Starbucks can of coffee, right here, baby, right here. All right, I take that and I just sprinkle it in the little corner right here, up in the little hole. Sprinkle it in here, cold brew all day long, and it's like Starbucks on the trail. It's better than the Via to me. It's probably the same thing, but it, in my mind, it's better. I guess because a little V, you can only I always have to put two in these big bottles. To get it to taste like a decent cup of coffee. And, um, I mean, it's like $3 for a cup of coffee a day, right? Y'all see that right there, folks? Like $8 for all that. I'll carry this two ounces around. Because guess what? I can use it all day long. If I feel like coffee in the middle of the day and afternoon, hmm, Starbucks. Hmm. So I went to Dollar General and I was going to get my little, you know, they have the little packets of cream. And I got to thinking, you know, and they're not expensive, but like a dollar, you know. And, but I was wondering about the weight as far as like carrying the little packets and that sort of thing. And so, um, oh, let me close. I'm trying to close my tin up. Rain don't fall in there, but anyway, um, oh, I didn't wash my face. I just, I just got up and I was like, all right, let's get going. And I just started going. And I'm trying to make me some coffee. Huh? Oh, this is my washcloth, you guys. I uh, I went down to the this little stream here. And I'm like, oh, I just went down there when I got here last night. And, stood there and washed off. It's so hot. I mean, it's like, it's a completely different hike coming out here and missing that month. And I'm sure it's, I mean, it's a gradual thing into the heat and all the stuff like that when you're out here. But when you leave and you come back, you know, exactly four weeks later, whoo -hoo, different hike, folks. Different hike. Um, no views in the day. Man, there are no views at all. I will never, ever take for granted Days used that I got in in like March and April. Man, God, I seen some beautiful views. Like Virginia was absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going through here, man. It's like Virginia is very um luscious. <laughs> uh, I have a little pimple right here. Hurt. Uh, I busted it still. Mm. I didn't bust it. Just done like that, and, and it was like ah. And then there was one there. It was Rubbing my face this morning. Mm. Ooh. Anyway, so I had to wash. Anyway, wash this off. And the great thing I like about when you park next to a stream or whatever is you can go wash off and then you can turn around and re rinse this completely out so that in the morning you can get up, you got something you can wipe your face off with, and, um, and it's clean. You know, start my day off with a uh, clean washcloth. And then I have uh, my microfiber. 
which I left hanging outside. Um, I wash shoes at the wash my feet. <laughs> I have this thing like, <sighs> don't want to wash my face with the same rag of mush in my dirty feet with. So, you know, <laughs> it's a mind thing, man, a mind thing. I, get down with, I don't get down with a bunch of nastiness. Uh -uh. I don't get down with that. Anyway, so it's raining and I'm making coffee. I figured I'd show you guys my coffee. So instead of bringing, getting a little packet, <laughs> we, got a, we got a whole thing of creamer. And uh, got me some coffee made or carnation or whatever, some French vanilla. And uh, so I got to put my, uh, my French vanilla in here. You know, I mean, <laughs> hey, can't y'all see me now going through the, the airport? <laughs> these two things in my bag if i had took this out of the can man if i took this out of the can man i'd probably still be in the damn airport hey imagine we going through the airport with this hmm. <laughs> they'd have called over the little test and i'd be like for god's sake smell the vanilla i tell you man if you if you're flying leave everything in the package repackage that stuff when you get to the trail <laughs> Hey, they they serious about that. <laughs> they serious about that now. They don't they don't play that. They you ain't coming through there with a with a can of coffee. It's a mountain house mills and they're gonna not gonna expect it. Coming through there with what looks like some marijuana and, and weed on the screen. But anyway, so what I do is just take my creamer, put it in here. Now, does it mix up great at first? No. Yeah, I know what it's like putting sugar in cold water. But eventually, it does get there. But I need some more cream in here, too. It will eventually mix up in there, though. Give a little bit more cream. It's a Saturday. It's Saturday. Anyway. So I guess I'm gonna run over to this uh this hostel, the Bear Den Hostel is ran by the ATC. And uh in the comments, it doesn't say it on their website or anything, but in the comments, dude says for 35 bucks. I can do shower, laundry, get a bunk, some ice cream, and a pizza. I mean, hey, I'm down with that. That's a, that's a, that's a nice fine deal there. It's a nice fine deal. So, uh, so I'm going to go do that. And um, there's a brewery, 0.4 miles, I think, from there. You know, I'm down with a try some new beer. I got that this this uh, that untapped. You know, I got it. Uh, I had to thank uh, Paddle Faster. You know, his uh, his brother Stephen. He uh, he said this is something his brother Stephen did. So we every time I do that, we're like, well, this is for you, Stephen. Um, but uh, but I'm gonna go uh, get that register another beer and go. Maybe give me a little flight. You know. Knock out about four or five beers, man. So see, look, look at this nice, beautiful. I am not, you guys. I am not promoting these people. Um, what I found is that these people. Yeah, I think that might be even turned around for y'all. I don't even know if it's the right way y'all can read it. Um, but anyway, this bottle here was two for like two seventy five. Um. The smart water bottle was two of them for three dollars and something. 
man, they hold the same amount. The the life water bottle, um, not life, but the smart water bottle. It might be like thinner and lighter or something like that. I don't know, but I mean, just for what I needed it for, I just needed this because I needed to clean out my my Sawyer, and so. I mean, that was the only reason why I bought it. I'm not going to lie. I just need to clear out my solid filter. And so, because I really prefer taking these little bottles like this. I mean, I can carry one in the back. I mean, there's three of them. I mean, I go to the water source, chug a lot of water. And it's like, you know, there's no point in me carrying a lot of the bottle. And they're really thin. You guys, like this bottle here weighs nothing. But you can't just find these. It's not like you can just... Go and buy them. You have to either bring them from home or, you know, like somebody gives you a bottle of water. But these things right here are great. So I would have normally carried three of them, but I already have all of them. So I'm um, not going to waste the bottle. Yeah. Um, might as well get some use out of it. And, and then it is a little bit bigger for coffee. <laughs> okay. um, I normally would have a Mountain Dew bottle just because of my mind. Green, green is caffeine. Um, but, you know, so this will work. I'll switch them out. At some point, they'll all get old. Mm -hmm. This is some good stuff, y'all. The only thing that it is missing is the little froth or the little little cream stuff that Starbucks be putting on there. You know, the stuff that they put in the pup cup. If I had some of that floating around in here right now. Set it off, boys. Set it off. But I don't because I'm in the middle of it. And that is how this girl makes coffee on the trail. I don't even, it's convenient, it's quick. I don't have to pull anything. Because um, I don't care, it's Dave anymore. So, um,. Everybody said by the time you get 500 miles in, like nobody cares to stay. I sit my home. Yeah. I tried to cut back any kind of weight I could. If I didn't use it, I did bring my coffee cup, my titanium coffee cup back out here. And that was because I've had four people make mention that you won't always have a cup. Because there's just times you'll need a cup. And if you do bring the titanium one, you can at least make a fire and boil water over fire if you need to. So... You know, in my mind, I'm thinking, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. See y'all what I'm thinking. In my mind, I'm always like, boil your water. Like, I might need to sterilize some bandages and save someone's life. Like, I'm gonna be out here sterilizing bandages. Hey, in theory, what am I gonna need to pour water for? I guess maybe, like, you know, for, like, to purify it or something like that. But there's enough people out here that, hey, man, can I borrow you? Can I borrow you a Sawyer? You know, um, I mean, <laughs> I just like, there's a, there's Walmart ain't that far, you guys. And so, like, I'm out here, it's like, what would I possibly need to boil water for? But in my mind, I'm thinking, man, I might need to sterilize bandages. <laughs> like, I'm about to deliver a baby. <laughs> I don't know, like, it just is in my mind. So I did bring my coffee cup, because, hey... I might need to deliver, baby. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, I'm feeling better mentally today. Uh, the last two days, I, I really hurt. My feet hurt. It's weird. My feet hurt. Like the bottom of my feet just hurt. I got a blister on my little bit at the same time. Um, and then I twisted my ankle really bad yesterday too. And so. Um, it was hot, you know, yesterday just seemed like it was a rough day. But I feel good this morning. I probably would have, would have gotten up. If I knew I was going to do like a full day today, I would have gotten up at 6 and try to get out here at 7. I'm going to try to do that from now on. Get up when I wake up and get started earlier because it's just hot. And that way I can take more breaks in the middle of the day. And, you know, some freedom told me that you need to start leaving earlier. You will when it starts getting hot. Well, she's not lying. So, because I just had to stop a lot yesterday. I mean, to, to either, you know, either stop and get water or just stopping to let my body temperature lower. So, um, 
So that's something that, you know, because once that heat hits me, I get so weak. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. I got me, I put, put me a pop socket on the back of my phone so, you know, could simulate like a tripod. You know, taught you guys without, without my nervous sticks coming into play. Alright, so I'm going to pack up this crap. Um, I want to show you guys this. Look at that. Check out my rainbow socks. <gasps> out here rocking. And the thing is, those ain't the socks I had on. I had on before my feet socks. Which I love those things, man. Those things wear really good. But, um, I had just something about the way it sits on that back toe, man. It just, whew. And then my shoes are too big. <sighs> my feet are, it, it, me, and, me and my wife noticed something last night when we were talking about it. If anything, my feet don't swell by the end of the day. Like, they'll start off my morning, and they're, they're almost feel like, right now, they almost feel swollen. But once I start walking, my, my feet, by the time at the end of the day, my feet are just tiny little things. And so, you guys, I think my feet are too big. But it's okay, because by the time I get in New York, I gotta buy new ones anyway. Because um, the ones I want to finish katahdin, I will hike, I finish it. Um, I want to do Katahdin in this. I've always said all along, I wanted to do Katahdin in this. Or if nothing else, I want to finish in them. Because those are my shoes. My Bilbo shoes. So, anyway, but I'm going to have to get some new shoes. You know, by the time I get through Pennsylvania. Because I know that once that grip on the bottom of them starts to wear out. Man, you slide on rocks. I do. And I don't need anything that's going to make me any. It's just like, I, like those last ones, those five, the, my last ones, they did not tear up. You guys ever talk, talk about how, you know, the long peak fives, they tear up. And, I mean, y'all, I'm rough on shoes. And my knees tear up. They just, uh, the bottom of them, I mean, I had like 400 miles in them. Everybody said you get four or 500 miles in them. So, I mean, I got 430 miles in them. Um, but I could tell that I was sleeping on rocks. And I would like step on a rock, and if it was at, at an angle, just slide right on down. And so, and I feel, I actually landed on my ass, and in that, oh, oh, sorry, I landed on my butt. <laughs> um, and that hurt for a couple weeks, so I just, I, hey, I'll do some road walking in them. I didn't take them home, I didn't throw them away or anything. Um, I'll road walk in them and do some training in them and stuff. And, uh, I'm just gonna do the Florida Trail, so I mean, like, and they'll be perfect to, you know, to do to do that. I mean, I, mean, I, I got a good, I got a good 70 miles that I can still put on them. So, um, you know, get something out for breakfast. <sighs> Ooh, yeah. And I did good because I started with five of these. I was like, babe, I'm only going to take five because, well, I never eat them. I just end up throwing them away. And I've already eaten in two days. I have already eaten all of them except for one. I mean, and I was weary about taking the summer sausage because I've had to throw two of those away. Man, I've torn that summer sausage. Clearly, appetite is completely different. Um... It, I've had an appetite to it, but I didn't go home. I, I felt like, you know, yeah, I did put on some weight. I could tell I, had, I definitely put on some weight as far as size and stuff like that. But I didn't I didn't put on any weight as far as weight. I didn't gain any weight. And, um, and man, I mean, you could tell that once I got out here, because it was like that when I came out here uh, last year for my lash. But that's not lash one was all. Section. It was just a little section hike. When I came out here for that, um, I was hungry a lot. I was a lot. I was hungry, but I was also I was not in as the size I am now, and I didn't have any muscle. So I mean, you know, it's 20 pounds lighter than I was when I maybe not 20, maybe 15. But the whole time I was out here from then, I was hungry. I wanted lunch. I ate constantly the whole nine yards. And then when I went home, I had this, like, hiker hunger. And that's what happened. That's how I gained weight. I went home with hiker hunger. Came out here for, like, three weeks and went home with hiker hunger. It was just crazy. Oh, I, did, I, did I show y'all all the little things that Alan fixed for my tent? All the little holes, you know? He said that, hey, he said that, that it just, he never seen anything like it. He don't know what's causing it. It's, maybe it's just a bad, it's a bad tent. 
That's what he, you know, sometimes, hey, so maybe it was, maybe it was the b last of the roll. Everything's perfect about this tent. It's set for the screen, you know? And, and it's like, maybe this was the last of the roll when they were making it. Who knows? I don't know. I'm starting to wonder if, if Backcountry uh, sells seconds. Hmm. Do they even make seconds in gear? You know, you got the shoes, like seconds. You go to shoe show. Shoe shows are, like, if you go to shoe show, a shoe show is actually... Um, the no, uh, number two, like when they make a Nike, it, it comes out as quality level one, level two, level three, right? And number one is means it's perfect, nothing's wrong with it. Number two means, you know, it's they use the the wrong color in the in the pad that you put your foot on instead of it being, being you know, blue one thirty two. It came out blue one thirty. And you don't know that. You don't know what that one's supposed to be unless you put the perfect shoes next to each other. Or the, the stitching on the side is, is stitch number 79. And it was supposed to be stitch number 78. And, and nothing wrong with it. It's just something something, just something is different from what it was supposed to be. But there's nothing, in, you know, there's nothing wrong with the maker or, or, or the quality. It's, no, it's nothing wrong with it. It's just not the design. Correct design. That's what number twos are. Okay, that's what they have at shoe shows. You go to shoe show. You're getting some shoes, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just like the other one. There's just a little something that was flawed in the when they put the input of the style of shoe in there. You don't, you would never know it. It could be that they use glue 47 instead of glue 46, and they hold it exactly the same. It's just not what the recipe called for. The shoe recipe called for. And so, um, you know, I wonder, do they do they do that? You know, do they do that in gear? Do they? Is that a thing? Like, you know. Did, was this screen supposed to be like screen 72 and I got screen 38? You know, who knows? You know? Um, but uh, but he did tell me, Alan said, anytime that this happens, you guys, contact the person, the people immediately and let them know because, you know, the thing is, is that they would they would have replaced it. I know that Backcountry has a guarantee and, and my wife told me, so why don't you contact Backcountry? Because you never know, they may. You know, and I was like, well, I didn't contact them at the time because it was something I thought I was doing. I thought it was little bugs. Somebody said it was a mouse. I mean, just all kind of stuff, you know. And and, and and as it continued to happen, and you don't realize that it's happening, you know, because it was this happening 2020. And I put the tin up and, and I, you know, and then, and then it, it just continuously gotten worse. And it's not like, you know, you buy it with the intentions to, to use it then. And then, you know, life happens. And COVID happened, and, and you know, I mean, who knew it was going to do this? If if this had been when I purchased it, I would, honestly, I would still be within my year. You know, and that's what's another thing that's frustrating is that if this had happened when I had purchased it, and then I, because when I purchased it, where I would have a year, you know, I'd have like three months of using it into my through hike, and but COVID screwed that up for me, and so. Um, it added two years to all the gear I have. And the one thing I can say about REI is REI, that has not bothered them. They have taken every piece of gear back because it was all around the through hike and COVID and stuff like that. And any piece of gear that, you know, it was like, okay, I had to sit it to the side for like two years and I really haven't used it. And then I start using it and it messes up. Man, REI has taken it back. Every piece of gear. Every piece of gear. And so I, I'm... I will say that much. You might spend a little bit more at REI, but man, at least you can return it. And then some people say they have problems returning it, but I haven't. I mean, you guys, several times now, I have walked in there with some gear. Like, I walked in there with a piece of gear the other day that I had bought right before COVID. And I hadn't used it, and then I started using it and, and like, getting it ready for my through hike, and it was my food bag. And my food bag had a hole in it. Man, I walked in there and I had that thing two years. It's been two years because I bought it right before I got ready to go on my through hike in 2020. You know, little lady, some, we understand with COVID, you really can't use your gear. Took it back. No questions asked. Not one question. Then I had another bag that I had brought in there and I and I was pretty sure I had just a little hole. And I'm pretty sure I'm the one who poked the little hole in it because it looked like a perfect little pinhole. Still took it back. Still took it back. Let me do something. If y'all got a problem with exchanging some at REI, <laughs> it might be y'all. Because there's plenty of times that REI, REI could have said, well, that doesn't, that does not meet our return policy. They, they ain't said that. They still take it back. Y'all talk about REI, but I like REI. Um, anyway, I'm going to get off here and talk to y'all. And I'm going to get out of here. I've been talking to y'all for 20.
25 minutes. Now y'all tired of looking at the top of my tent? But ain't nothing else to see out there, y'all. Ain't nothing but leaves. Leaves and a little trail that's about this big. You know, I understand why people get tick bites and all kind of bites and shit out here. Out and stuff out here. Because you are bushes just constantly rubbing on you, rubbing on you, rubbing on you. It's crazy. Somebody's out there walking. Y'all getting wet? Hi. I just be yelling at people from my tent. <laughs> you ain't got nothing else to do out here. Ain't nothing else to do. So you might as well. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later.